So the first event we'll look at is gonna be flight. So here is a picture of an awesome model that Dom made for us today. So we'll dive into it in a second, but first I wanna talk about some quick highlights that I thought of of why you would want to go ahead and model your flight, whatever you submit in Onshape beforehand. So of course, having this modeled up makes it very easy to cut the wing ribs, which have to have a pretty specific curve to them, makes it really easy to then cut those on a laser cutter. Um, speaking of those wing ribs, if you do it in Onshape, you can also have them be driven by a specific airfoil feature script, which will allow you to adjust those ribs to a couple hundred different types of airfoils. I am not an aerodynamics guy myself, so I don't know what they all, you know, what all the benefits are, but you know, that is an excellent way to study them and try and really elevate, you know, and, and find the best one so that your plane or your flying device will have the longest airtime. It's also really easy to analyze how much your model is going to weigh and what the center of gravity is going to be, which is, of course, extremely important when you're trying to make something that flies for a really long time. So let's hop over into Onshape and take a look at this model and not just a picture of it. Here it is. So this is a relatively simple plane, but all the details that we need to manufacture it are in this model. So as you can see, we've got a wing structure, we've got a rudder, got our body and our tail, and tucked underneath, we have our rubber motor with a propeller on it. So because we have it all modeled up and we have the materials set for each of these pieces that we've modeled, it is really easy for us to try and figure out where the center of gravity is gonna be. So what I will do is I will select all of these parts real quick. I will click the mass properties button in the bottom right corner. It's gonna think about it for a split second and just like that, we can see that it is estimating that our plane will weigh right about nothing and the center of gravity is going to be a little bit, I would say probably about two thirds or three quarters of the way back on our wing right here, which like I said, I'm not a huge aerodynamics guy myself, but the, to the best of my understanding, uh, planes will fly best if the center of gravity is actually a little bit farther forward, probably around one third of the way back. So because we had this modeled up and because I can so quickly verify where my center of gravity is, I can know that I should probably adjust this model to try and make sure that the center of gravity is a little bit farther forward so we can maximize our flight time. So, you know, this is one very quick benefit of having an actual model and not just, you know, building it just from plans. Um, excellent. So that is our parts studio right here, but let's hop over one part studio to this airfoil example right here. So this is modeled a little bit differently, and this is going back to uh, what I referenced earlier, where you can actually have um, your, your wing be driven by a known airfoil spline. So of course, a little bit of background on that. Uh, Onshape allows our community users to write their own features. So of course, along the top, you've got all of these common buttons that are by default built into Onshape, but the code behind those features is open to the public. So people can write their own features to do some really neat things. And there was a group of users that created one that actually creates wing profiles. Um, and you're able to use that feature, it's called Profile Generator. And once you add it to your account, this is what it allows you to do. So you can see it allows you to choose an aerofoil and it will automatically draw the lower and the upper spline. Now, with a little bit of practice, you can set up a model like this where you could have it be one profile and I am going to swap it out and you can see there are a ton. But I'm looking for, which one do I want? I would like to do, I'm gonna scroll up a little ways. It's a cool, is it, it's the NASA Langley. Yeah, let's do this one, cool. Just like that, you can see it's a little bit flatter with a more aggressive front and a smoother end. So you can change what your airfoil is gonna be. Now, I don't know if there's a standard one that everybody uses or if everybody likes to try out different ones, but this is an excellent way that if you wanted to very quickly laser cut and try a bunch of different airfoils, you can do that with the assistance of Onshape. 